Hello and welcome to another video on the LEGO Zaris channel. Today I'll be showing you how to connect your robot via Bluetooth to your computer and never use the download cable for downloads again. To get started, first you need to turn on the robot. After it gets turned on, navigate to the fourth tab on the top, the settings tab. Go down to the Bluetooth setting, click on it, then go up to, to the Bluetooth checkbox. Check it off, and then go down to the finalize button at the bottom, and check that. After turning on Bluetooth on the robot, we need to connect it to the computer. So this is a tutorial for Windows computers, and I'm sorry to Mac users, but I don't do tutorials for that. This is something that will differ on Mac computers. To do this, go to the show hidden icons, and press the Bluetooth. Button. If you don't have a Bluetooth button here, your computer doesn't have Bluetooth, and you'll either need to get a dongle or won't be able to do this. Press Show Bluetooth Devices and Add an, or another Bluetooth device. Go to Bluetooth, and then click on whatever is your robot's name. That will pop up. After you press the Connect button on the computer, this screen will pop up on the EV3 robot. Press the Check button, then the Check button again. The second Check button is for setting the passkey. If you're by yourself, the 1234 auto passkey is just fine, but if you're in a crowded area with lots of other EV3 robots, you want to do something more specific so you won't be interfering with other robots. After you check off the password on the robot, this will pop up on your computer. Type in the passcode that you set. In most cases, this will be 1234 unless you changed it. Then press connect, and now your EV3 is connected. There's only one more step to get it to sync with the program. The last thing you'll need to do is plug in the download cable connected to your computer to the robot. This makes the EV3 software recognize your robot and then you can unplug it. Now, if you look down at your connection type, it should have the Bluetooth symbol instead of saying USB. So we can do a download and hear the little jingle of the EV3 robot getting a download without it ever being plugged in. The only thing you have to remember is every time you turn the robot off or reopen the EV3 programming software, you just need to replug in the robot with the normal download cable and unplug it to sync the robot to the EV3 software. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.